Hello, beautiful people. What it do, Sky Squad? Welcome and welcome back. And today I wanted to try something different. I've never done this before, but I want to try this out. And if it works, you have a tutorial. If not, well, you know what not to do. Okay, so I have already retwisted my hair. It's just a lot more easier when I wash one day, let my locks fully dry, and then go in the next to actually do my retwist is a lot quicker for me, I feel like. If you wanna see the video about how I do my quickest retwist method, you guys already know, no combs, no clips. Um, it's really, really quick, really, really easy. My favorite way to retwist my hair. Make sure you check out that video. But in this video right here, we're gonna try out some lock knot bangs, okay? So I already have, this is the amount of hair I'm working with. Uh, it's basically, what I'm gonna do is more of like a two strand twist plus lock knot. And what I really wanna try is to do this lock knot without any rubber bands. But if not, I got rubber bands here and I'm gonna use my Lavender Rose Hydrating Lock and Scalp Mist, as well as a Hydrating Lock Jelly. You guys already know by the Resilient Lotus, my brand. Um, that's sort of the two products I'm gonna be using for my retwist right now. And uh, make sure you sign up for an email list at theresilientlotus.com because I am going to be releasing minis. Oh gosh, I just love mini things. So it's perfect for travel, perfect to try out the whole collection. And then whenever you do fall in love or whenever you find this is for me, you could commit to the full size, but if not, you can always just try it out. Um, and I think that's good. You get to try out the whole kind of collection. And I just like minis, throw it in your purse, throw it in your overnight, travel with it, what have you. So I'm gonna be using some of that today. So I've watched a couple of tutorials and I really wanna do this without rubber bands. But we shall see. And I've never done lock knots before ever. So we should see. So first things first, I never do a style on dry locks. You already know how that goes. So I'm gonna spray. Oh, it just feels good. Mm. Yep, so I'm gonna spray this. And now I'm gonna go in with my lock jelly. And I will say for the front of my hair, I've kind of like retwisting it towards the front anyway, because I feel like in the front I have a lot of soft, loose hair, shorter hair that gets lost every time I retwist the front going back. I'm gonna retwist towards the front. All I gotta do, just dip a little into my jelly. I'm just gonna swoop it around. And I have this lock. Ooh, I have these two locks ready to go. And I always say this in my two strand twist video, but like if I'm twisting my lock this way, I need to kind of twist them together in the opposite way. So I'm twisting this forward, but I'm gonna bring it back. I'm twisting this forward, but I'm bringing it back. Yeah, I think they made a loop. Make a little loop because at the end, that's just kind of where you'll tuck your ends. And I'm just gonna wrap going up. I think either direction is fine, but like, see this is like shorter. So I'm gonna tuck that end down. And then kind of go around. Then I'm gonna tuck the end through. Hmm, not too shabby. I don't hate it. It's not bad for my very first lot knot. And it feels secure. Some people use like a crochet hook to feed it through. That's how that looks. We'll see if we'll get better. <laughs> Let me do this other side. This lock, I'm telling y'all, it's low key stressing me out, but it's all right. Okay, so now I got my two locks here. I'm gonna do my two strand twist as normal. I think that's good. Now I think what I'm gonna do is make a loop. So I'm gonna fold that little end down. 
And then I'm just gonna, let me go up here. I want it to go through the loop so I don't have to use a rubber band. Now I have seen people two strand twist all the way down and then take the whole, like then fold it, wrap it around and then secure it with a rubber band, which might be easier. These two are not the same length anyway, but make a loop. So I made my loop with the shortest one. I'm wrapping this around and then whatever's left, I kind of face it down. And then I know no matter what, I wanna, my first wrap with this, I wanna make sure I hide that wrap around. As long as you have enough space for the lock to go in it, you will be good. Kind of hard to judge how big you need your loop to be. And that's how that looks. But I think this will also help just my front just to get it together faster you know what i mean you guys already know the front is like my always been my area of concern i'm not even gonna say tr trouble locks but you know what i mean i just i just gotta keep a closer eye on them than i do my other ones and i find that if i retwist these locks to the front or if they're like in a style that kind of helps maintain the retwist they do better versus just retwist and let them be wild like they just need extra supervision um, i'm gonna take the shortest lock so now I'm gonna go around this loop. I just wanna make sure it's secure. I don't, I just don't like really using rubber bands. So here's where I'm at, there's my loop, and then I'm gonna stick this through. We gonna keep going, y'all. We gonna trust the process, we gonna keep going. So this one has three. So what I'm gonna do, I've already wrapped this one around without making a loop with it. And then the end, I have it facing down. This next one, I am going to make a loop with. And then I'm gonna make a pretty big loop so I can go around it with my other one. So make a loop. And then I'm gonna secure that end. Take what's left and wrap it. And you just have to, some people use, like I said, a crochet hook to do this part. I don't know where my crochet hook is, actually. I got it through. It's in there like swimwear. <laughs> so this is a pretty big difference. So all I'm gonna do is make a loop. I'm not even gonna twist with that one. I'm just gonna make a loop, secure it with this one. that was a success <laughs> uh, we were able to do my first attempt at lock knots without using any rubber bands which you guys know I already had them waiting and ready for me to use rubber bands I ain't gonna use rubber bands so let me know if you like this video let me know if this was helpful at all make sure you don't forget to subscribe leave me a comment make sure you like up this video if you actually liked the video um, I really appreciate you guys watching thank you so much for your love and support um, yeah until next time peace